what's up everybody as you can see i'm super stoked for this video because i've been wanting to do this for a long time as you can probably see in the thumbnail and the title we're doing some micro fishing size 16 right there fly tying hooks from shields not sponsored also bait box fly tying fly, fly box also from shields not sponsored and so you're probably th thinking you're, you're, you're real smart here putting two and two together saying we're catching some micro fish and we're putting them in the tank and that's not what's happening i'm sorry to disappoint you but what's actually going to happen is we're just going to scope out some cool areas where i think fish small enough to fit in here would be good i'm thinking fish about the size of a beta if you don't know what a beta looks like it looks like that but it's about about half my pinky finger with the tail it's my whole pinky finger so i'm thinking maybe cool fish not very big but i think it's still going to be cool maybe a really really small bluegill that we could keep for a little while not permanently because i don't have like 55 gallon tank that can go on my dresser because i'm poor you didn't hear that but anyway i hope you guys do happen to enjoy this video let's get into it as you guys probably listened to the intro, I was very enthusiastic about not putting a fish in that fish tank. That's just because I'm not ready. But when we will one day put a fish in there. The bubbles are due to the bubbler running in the roll at the start. So it's not like anything bad. It's dechlorinated. Everything's ready to go. But I just can't seem to find a spot where small enough fish, maybe beta sized fish as I said in the intro, but there you guys go, so don't be commenting, put a fish in the aquarium, we'll do it one, we'll do it soon, like maybe within a f month or at least a month, hopefully. Thank you guys for listening to this, at least it means someone's paying attention. <laughs> but that's your explanation on why we are not catching a fish for this, it's just because I haven't found anything that I feel I could fit in it, besides some really small bluegill. Let's get into it. What's up guys, I apologize for the traffic, but we're going to be fishing somewhere along this bank into there with some bread and a size 16 fly time. Let's get into it. Alright guys, we got the first fish. Didn't get him on camera, but that should be good. We're gonna move one thing over there. There it goes. Let's get back into it. Oh, it does work still. I told you, bread is the power bait here. Hoping for smaller fish.
That works too. What I'm doing, taking a bread about that, that big, just balling it up. Put it on the hook. Much prettier with the spots. Let's get back into it. Finally caught the behemoth I've been looking for. Put him back. Spots. There's, there are definitely smaller fish. There, there's one more spot. In this. I have never done that in my life. I had a fish in a tree. Appreciate it. 